video I have five growth tips that you can start implementing into your routine right now that can help you grow your hair to its fullest potential so if you guys want to see the tips that I have in store make sure to keep on watching and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video and turn on my post notification bell to get notified every single time I post I post two times a week on Tuesdays and Fridays so you don't want to miss a video also don't forget to like this video leave down any video suggestions you may have down below Follow my Instagram my snapchat my Twitter and my TikTok to keep up with me and without further ado let's get into the video Alright everyone, so my first tip is so essential and it is so important and if you are not doing it, I highly recommend that you start. It is to trim your hair consistently or trim your hair as needed. I just trim my hair. My hair is freshly trimmed and honestly I can say my hair feels so healthy and your hair just feels so good when you get a fresh trim. And if you are not trimming your hair, you are prone to getting single stranded knots, which we do not want. Those are those little fairy knots or those little tight knots that you can't get through to. You're brushing them out, you're trying to brush them out and they do not come out they do not untwist and then you end up brushing them out and they end up coming out in the brush that leads to breakage and that consistently and you consistently trying to get out those knots is going to lead to more and more and more breakage so in order to avoid that you need to trim your hair and get rid of those dead ends and also if you do not trim your hair you are prone to getting dead ends and split ends and those ends that are bad will travel up your hair shaft and will constantly 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 grow and then you will have to end up later down the line cutting twice or three times more hair off than you would have if you would have just trimmed it in the first place so once you see that your hair is extremely brittle you see that your hair is extremely dry you can't brush through your ends your ends are so tough definitely trim your hair and I promise you those problems will melt away they will literally disappear and you won't have to deal with that anymore so just constantly trim your hair as needed watch your hair look at your hair examine your hair know your hair and you will know exactly when to trim it so that is my tip trim your hair and you'll be golden <laughs> tip is one of my favorite things to do for my hair and it is protective styling if you guys have watched my channel for a while you guys know I love mini braids and I love braids and that protective style helps my hair grow so 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 much and I just see so much growth when I do that and the reason why you see so much growth when you protect a style is because you're leaving your hair alone which is key it is so key to leave your hair alone and I used to be one of those people who was constantly in my hair doing all these different styles and honestly I'm pretty sure that was breaking my hair but I have relaxed and I have become less of a you know constantly in my hair type of girl and I have started to just take my time and just do a style at a time and try to maintain that style for as long as you possibly can so protective styles can be braids they can be twists they can be passion twists they can be senegalese twists they can be locks they can be any protective style that you possibly could think of but also protective styles can also be like let's say you do a sleek low bun and you keep that bun in for a week that's pretty much protective styling because you're not constantly touching it you're not constantly moving your hair or shifting it and if you are constantly moving and shifting your hair you are breaking your edges you are just constantly messing and manipulating your hair up so definitely stay away from doing that so pretty much this tip is to protect a style and do low manipulation styles because those are key to keeping your length and retaining that length and maintaining that length for long periods of time so definitely protect a style and I've seen my most growth when I protect a style when I protect a style like it's game over <laughs> like I love protective styling and I definitely want to do a protective style very very soon and I highly recommend that you guys try one out if you haven't already 
my next tip is extremely beneficial and extremely helpful for your hair growth and I feel like a lot of people overlook it or they don't really think about it but that is to scalp massage your scalp or scalp massage your hair and pretty much what I mean by this is you can use a scalp massager you can find them at Target you can find them at Walmart eBay Amazon you can literally just look up scalp massager and you'll find a bunch of them and using that is so 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 helpful or you can just use your hands if you don't want to buy one but pretty much you can use this two different ways the first way that you can use it is by putting oil in your hair and then massaging that oil in with a scalp massager or your fingers or the second way that you can use it is by using it in the shower if you use a lot of thick products a lot of big thick greasy products or creams or butters or things like that in your hair regimen a scalp massager is extremely beneficial because when you get into the shower on your wash day and you're washing your hair it is extremely vital that you take out all the buildup that you have accumulated over the time of doing your hair and that you make sure that your scalp is clean and clarified and that your hair has no buildup in your pores and that your pores are unclogged because if your pores are clogged your hair is you're like stunting your growth so it's extremely important that you get a scalp massager or that you use your fingers to really just massage your scalp and make sure that your scalp is not clogged so that your hair can grow long and healthy. So my next tip to grow your hair to its fullest potential is to moisturize your hair. And I know you're probably like, Ayana, yes, of course we know to moisturize our hair. But honestly, it is something we all get lazy with from time to time. Sometimes I do, but rarely. But sometimes I do get lazy with my moisturizing. So you definitely need to moisturize your hair because if we don't, our hair ends up getting dry, ends up getting brittle. We start to brush our hair and see like huge chunks fall out and we're wondering what's wrong. And honestly, it's probably just because because you don't have enough moisture or you're not retaining that moisture for long periods of time especially during this time where it is getting colder the seasons are changing it is getting dry outside that is when this starts to happen a lot especially for like a lot of naturals and people who wear their hair out a lot but this is honestly the best time to a protective style because during this time it is cold and usually when you leave your hair out you know you'll see that your styles won't last for long periods of time so if you protect your style during this time you can keep in that moisture and you can still have your hair looking nice and pretty so definitely protective style think about protective styling during this time this is like a perfect time to protective style honestly it's a perfect time to protective style all the time <laughs> and you guys know I just love protective styling but pretty much make sure that your hair is moisturized especially when you do those protective styles as well that's not when you just put the protective style in and, and then you just forget about it but you still have to moisturize your hair while it's in that protective style make sure you're adding oil so my last and final step to grow your hair to its fullest potential and to retain your moisture and to retain your length is to deep condition and use hair masks. Guys, I never skip out on using a deep condition or using a hair mask every time I step into the shower. Every time I step into the shower, I deep condition and I use a hair mask. And why do I do this? Because it is so important and so vital. Think of it like this. Every time you step into the shower and you deep condition and use a hair mask, you are adding nutrients. You are adding those elements back into your hair. You are feeding good things to your hair. Your hair is literally like a plant. You have to feed it with the things it needs. So if you feed it with a good deep conditioner that has great things in it, a good hair mask that will revitalize, rejuvenate your hair strands, then your hair is going to be golden. I promise you this. You can definitely feel the difference between your hair from when you first step into the shower, before you deep condition it, before you use the hair mask, to after you step out of the shower. You can feel it in your strands. Your hair is soft. Your hair is manageable. Your hair is so easily, it's so easy to like brush it or so easy to comb it. You can feel the difference. So definitely do not skip out on this step and make sure you are doing this in your hair regimen and you are not taking for granted deep conditioning and using hair masks. I love um, black castor oil hair masks. I love black castor oil. Um, it's anything with a good oil in it. Any mask that has a good oil in it, I love those because they are 
adding that oil back into my hair and I love oils. So definitely deep condition and use a hair mask as much as you possibly can. So that is it for this hair growth tip video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys are going to start implementing some of these tips into your hair regimen, let me know down in the comment section down below. I would love to talk to you guys about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And turn on my post notification bell to get notified every single time I post. I post two times a week on Tuesdays and Fridays, so you don't want to miss a video. Also, don't forget to like this video, leave down any video suggestions you may have down below. Follow my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my TikTok to keep up with me, and I will see you all in my next video.